But you do want to make it harder for a thief to steal your car. Nah, a nigga gonna be mad. I swear to God, like a nigga gonna be mad as fuck. He try to break my car and steal my shit. You gonna be dealt with. Two of these. One. Two. Two of them. And if I'm around, you might get hit with two of them. Let's do it. <laughs> This video is mainly for my Mopar owners. If you're on a Dodge, Scat, Truck, Cat, RT, Durango, GT, SXT, and you don't own one of these, you are tripping. Something is seriously wrong with you. <laughs> YouTube, what's going on? Man, it's your boy Jordan. I'm back with another video. And as y'all can see by the title, man, today we're going to be talking about this device right here and some other theft, theft products, I guess, or theft proof items that I use to prevent my car from getting stolen, man. We're finna get right into it. But I do want to say this nothing is 100% steel proof, but what you want to do is make it harder for a thief to steal your car. And yeah, without further ado, man, let's get to it, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to the video, and let's do it, gang. Let get y'all a little close though before we do anything, man. Uh, and my bitch, real clean. You feel me? Before we get into the kill switch, I do want to show y'all something else I use to basically prevent. Basically, the first thing I do before I get, when I get first get out of my car, before I even turn on the switch, this is the first thing I make sure I do. A few moments later. This right here. This is my wheel locks. I'm finna show y'all how I do this. I got two on, cause you can never be too safe. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Especially when I'm around, when I'm at the crib and shit, I don't really do this because I don't got to worry about this where I stay at. My car be in the garage most of the time. But if I go to Charlotte or Atlanta, yeah, you ain't even got to worry about stealing my car. So I put the first one, I put this one this way. I'm going to do that like that. I'm going to lock that bad boy in. You feel that motherfucker in. I got this one. You feel me? See, you need the key for this one. I'm dropping shit and shit. Hold on. You need the key for this one. Lock that bit. I'm put this one like this. You feel me? Now look. Nigga come say nigga come break in my car. You feel me? You bust my windows out. Get in the car. This the first thing he gonna be met with. You feel me? How this work? Say they get the car on. How the fuck you gonna turn it? This shit is clapping the side of the seat. You turn it up. It's gonna hit uphill. Turn this one. It's gonna hit downhill. You can't turn the car. So say they say they get through this. You gotta this still you gonna have to you gonna be cutting this shit for some time to get through that one. Now you gotta cut another one. And the thing is when you still in the car you wanna be in and out. You ain't got time to be cutting through no damn steel bars. Alright, let's say they do get these let's say they do get these off. I'm about to speed this up while I take these off cause of this shit. Yo nigga, I'm just doing my thing. I do mean I stand my lane. Get all around so three five day. Like a pair of the cause we ain't the same. Chop blow like a flu that big old bang. Say a lot of shit, but I don't say a thing. The buddy having hard, but I know what cover and major pain. Yeah. They say they do get they say they don't got my kid, my uh what stick. What? What the fuck? Yeah, we're locked, so they don't got these off. In the car, they think they good to go. I'm gonna show you where it is coming to play. This right here. I get out of the car, make sure I press that bitch off. As you can see, down here, nothing showing. 
Nothing. Radio turned on. Down here. Nothing. So look. That's how the kill switch work. It stops all power from going to the car. When you turn this turn this on, turn it back on, turn it like let the power go back through. No look at it. Um put the run. Can start it up now. The sun just hitting right. Y'all gonna have to bear with me. Check the skin out though. Peep the skin, you feel me? Now let's get back on top. Now let's say uh let's say I go to the gas station and for whatever dumb reason I leave my car on but I turn the kill switch off while my car is on. Car still running. But check this out. Car still running though. But like I said, no lights. Turn it back on. Lights. Turn it off. And I said they get in my car. They be able to drive it. They get where they going. They try to turn the car off. No sir. Not going anywhere. You're not turning it bit off. I still don't. <laughs> but nah, 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 for real though. Say like, I know there's other ways to turn the car off, but by the time they do all that, I, and I, I do have a track on my car. If the car is on, I'm gonna see that shit moving. Like, you're not gonna be able to turn the car off, and it's gonna take some time for them to go in, do all that shit, turn the car off. I mean, find another way to turn the car off. Like, that shit gonna take, take a little bit of time. By the time you do all that, I'm already on your ass, and I'm on the way. With my stick, and you're gonna get bleed. I'm telling you. <laughs> when it comes to installing these, it is multiple places you can install these. I'm not gonna tell y'all, tell y'all where mine's installed at for obvious reasons. But a common spot is uh, you wanna take, the, take this up, this whole thing right here. You're gonna pull, pull this off. Don't be uh be like somebody I know. If you watching this, you know. If you know, you know. Make sure you let the steering wheel down so you can get this off. First, you want to pull that shit out. You want to pull this out. Pull the little, it's like a little, a little cable, I guess, or uh, plug in. Some I don't know what the fuck you call it, but you want to unplug that from the starter. You want to cut the wires, the black and the red. Make sure the black and the red wires don't touch, obviously. And then got down. You wanna, you can unplug the battery for safety reasons. You unplug the battery. And you wanna take the kill switch, the uh, fuse, I guess, that the kill switch came with. It's a red and a black wire, too. You wanna put the red with the red, put the black with the black, put them together with electrical tape or whatever, whatever you use to put wires together. And you wanna plug that back in, put everything back on. Now you got this. Easy. Take about 15 minutes. But like I said, man, nothing, nothing is 100% still proof. Nothing. But you do want to make it harder for a thief to steal your car. Nah, a nigga gonna be mad. I swear to God, like, a nigga gonna be mad as fuck. He try to break my car and steal my shit. You gonna be dealt with. Two of these, one, Two, two of them, and if I'm around, you might get hit with two of them. Let's do it. 